Pontotoc County is located just north of Roanoke in southwest Virginia. The area is full of beautiful mountain ranges and in the fall can show off some amazing colors in the foliage. Because of its proximity to the Roanoke metropolitan area, Bonnetot's population is concentrated on its southern end, but local residents are okay with that. Our Board of Supervisors, our County Administrator, um, have listened to the community and that the community has told them they really want the northern end of the county to remain rural, um, and they've done a nice job of preserving that. Um, but, but we definitely have seen a lot of growth on the southern end of the county. Courtney Henderson is the sixth generation to work her family's property and one of the few who are starting a dairy operation anywhere in the state. For her, following the life cycle of the animals raised on her property and nurturing them is what makes it all worthwhile. You get to watch something literally start as a seed or an embryo and grow and mature and you get to see its whole life out in front of you. You get to plant the seed and watch it grow over a duration of weeks to months. You get to watch a cow have its first calf then watch that calf go from being a little old thing that doesn't weigh more than 60 pounds to suddenly being a full grown 1500 pound cow. It's great to see something that you really truly put your heart and soul into grow, proliferate and thrive. Henderson also understands that in order to coexist with her suburban neighbors, she has to be an advocate for agriculture. We've got to learn to diversify and on top of diversification, we also have to learn to adapt. We have to be open to the public wanting to ask us questions. We have to be more willing to um, work with the public instead of fighting against them. We have to be willing to change and we have to be willing to adapt to what's around us. Diversifying could be simple as let's do some more farm tours, let's plant Christmas trees one year, let's try different things to try to get the public more involved in order to make it. We've seen a lot of people that are really interested in knowing where their food comes from and being a little bit more um, food independent or food secure. So we've seen a lot of folks that have that have purchased small pieces of property and started a home garden or started um, a small flock of laying hens or some backyard poultry, even some small ruminants and goats and sheep. That's not something we've traditionally been in. Um, but as new folks have decided to dip their toes into the agriculture water, that's where they seem to be starting on really small acreages and doing stuff like that. Botata County has a total of 551 farms spread out over 88,842 acres. The market value of all agricultural products is 14055000 Livestock accounts for more than two-thirds of that at $10,005,000. Of that, cattle and calves make up $7,625,000 while dairy comes in at 1,911,000. The crop sector contributes $4,049,000. Fruits, tree nuts, and berries bring in 1,480,000, while grains account for 1,425,000. Hay and other crops come in at 1,063,000. The James River forms at the border of Botetut and Allegheny counties and is a prominent feature of the landscape throughout Botetut as the water makes its way to Richmond and on to the Chesapeake Bay. The river comes right up to Mike Seibel's property, where he raises between five and 600 head of cattle on 550 acres. He's seen a lot in his 60 years on the farm and remains positive about Botetourt County's agriculture future. I'd say it's pretty good. I mean, you can, the way agriculture is now, you can raise more cattle you know, per acre than you used to be able to. I mean, just for the technology it's, you got, and things are easier now with equipment and everything. With all its natural beauty, there's plenty of opportunity for agritourism operations in Botetourt County. Barbara Kolb Holiday didn't need a lot of convincing. We were escapees from Northern Virginia, and I saw this piece of land and I said, this is it. The views on her property are spectacular. She says many of her customers come from out of state and find her vineyard by searching the web, sometimes from unlikely places such as Montana. They've been growing grapes for 35 years and see a bright future ahead for welcoming visitors. I think there's a great opportunity for agritourism, agriculture in Botetourt County. I think that people are looking at niches. I mean, there's nothing commercial on our river. It's just pristine. We've got a lot of pristine country. And I, I think that people are searching for some real life. And I think we've got it. The people of Botetourt are celebrating the county's 250th anniversary in 2020, and they're determined to make agriculture an important part of its next 250 years. In Botetourt County, I'm Burke Moeller reporting.